And now, here's your host of the program, Dr. Louis Fetter. Good evening. I'm Dr. Louis Fetter, cosmetic surgeon and dermatologist practicing in New York. Welcome once more to Here's Looking at You. I'm sure you know us very well by now. We've been here a long time, and as you know, we discuss beauty and health and plastic surgery and dermatology and all of the things at home you want to know about, we try very hard to tell you. And tonight is no different. I have a very interesting group of lo lovely ladies, and we're going to introduce them to you right now, and they're going to discuss with us all the new advances in cosmetic surgery that perhaps if you at home don't know about, we're going to tell you. Now, right now, to, to my, right in front of me is Alix Michelle, <laughs> who is the, uh, actually the uh, person in charge of all the advertising for, for the most important beauty magazine in the world. We won't even mention it because it's too famous, but that's a, a very wonderful job you have, and we're on the phone every day with all the new things in glamour and fashion that's, uh, that's around. You tell us. Alix, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Fashion magazine. Fashion, of course, of course. And right next to her is Claudine Tobacco, who just started a brand new venture where she's giving def defensive uh, driving school along with dinner, which is a very interesting <laughs> concept to me, and maybe we'll ask you a little more about that. I want to thank you for joining us also this evening. Thank, thank you. you, Claudine. And right next to her is Kimberly Taylor, who started a, uh, was a co-founder, actually, of a food service corporation, and she gives advice to all these large corporations about food and uh, breads and all that, and right. sauces and all these new That's things, right. and maybe you'll tell us about that, but I want to thank you for joining us also, Kimberly. Great. Alix, that first thing you were talking with me before we went on the air, maybe you'll uh, elucidate you us things. all again <laughs> about what, what you want us to talk about. I have so about. many questions, but the first thing that comes to mind is that you, you hear so much about lipo and body sculpture these days. It, uh, has it overtaken face considerations and face lifts as a... Well, it just so happens in the world today, uh, liposculpture, as I prefer to call it, liposculpture as opposed to liposuction. Mm. Liposuction sounds like a thing you're just sucking. As you know, I do it all by hand, by, by the French syringe technique using the tumescent anesthesia, and I don't use machine at all. It is now the most commonly performed cosmetic plastic surgical procedure in the world, and it's a fantastic thing. Women in the past who could, they say they exercise, and they go on these diets, certain areas are just recalcitrant to loss of... Uh, of weight in those areas, around the ankles, for example, around the knees and the hips and the saddlebags. You can exercise all day unless you really dynamically sculpt that. And you go to a doctor who really does a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of doctors now are going into cosmetic medicine for changes in the health system. But you have to go to a doctor who has a lot of experience doing these procedures. And remember, not every doctor can do every procedure with equal dexterity. All of us specialize in certain aspects of cosmetic medicine if that's what we're doing. Like I like to do body and facial uh, sculpture and facial rejuvenation. Now, uh, we're going to show some pictures in a moment, but I think what your question is really poignant because the facelift operation should be the very last thing a doctor does for you because there are so many things, so many things that can be performed on you before we do things. Um, so that's just a, a, as a little oversight, of, uh, overview rather, of what we're talking about. Correct. Claudine. In regards to the face, is laser the best way to rejuvenate the face? Well, as a matter of fact, it's just another avenue of treatment. Um, I've been doing another, uh, I have laser in the office. In fact, I have mm -hmm. two lasers in the office. And I, I often uh, may do a laser abrasion. But I've been doing an operation which I've described on this television show for the many, many years called chemodermabrasion, where mm -hmm. I do chemical peeling and dermabrasion as one procedure. And I must tell you, even though everyone mentions to me that laser and all, and I do use the laser for certain indications, my chemodermabrasion, it heals faster, less downtime, less what we call erythema or redness, mm -hmm. and invariably less pain. And I can have my patient back to their jobs in four or five days. Laser takes anywhere from eight to ten days, sometimes up to two and a half weeks healing time in many instances. But laser can be used, for example, for resurfacing the face in facial scarring, acne patients, or what we call severe actinic damage. It just depends on the indication. I mean, but then again, you have to remember, there are so many things you can do before having to do extensive resurfacing. You can do light chemical peeling, middle peels. Um, as you well know, and you've been to the office, those little, what we call 12 o'clock peels. You come mm -hmm. in, in I love those. In 10 minutes, I mean, you've had them. <laughs> I do. Uh, Kimberly's had them. It's my favorite. You come in, They're in and fabulous. out, boom. You walk in, hi, how are you? You, you come inside, you have your facial therapy, you have your light peel, you buy exactly. a few products, mm -hmm. you're on your way. Exactly. Half an hour, it's over. Hmm. So there are many ways. Have you, you had that? Um, yes, actually, I did. I like, I a lunchtime it. peel. 
a lunchtime. How lunchtime. often can you do that? Well, I must tell you, I think uh, at the very least one could do it every Not six weeks. Enough. I do it mm. sometimes once every two weeks myself, sometimes once a week. Uh, in general, if you have more exposure to the sun, mm -hmm. you want to do the more. You got to be careful with that sun because I tell patients, oh my goodness, you know, they say, I feel look so good in the sun. It's very damaging. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just been shown, for, for example, that the effects of the sun, as we well know, show up 10 or 15 years later. But the damage is done not so much to the s superficial parts of the skin, but rather the, the short wave ultraviolet goes deeper into the tissues and affects the deeper tissues, the elastin and the collagen, mm -hmm. and that's what causes so much sagging in the, in the skin as we get older. Not so much the loss of tone, but the loss of the subcutaneous tissues invariably caused not only by sun, but certainly mm -hmm. the sun plays a role. Okay. Kimberly, you're yeah. waiting so patiently <laughs> to ask questions, aren't you? <laughs> well, I love all this talk about the facial rejuvenation. I am never in the sun, but because I exercised frequently, what I was noticing was a loss of tissue in the lips and the nasolabial area. And I had the procedure that you're known for, for autologous fat, which is live fat injections. Were you happy? That, did I treat you nicely? Extet well, I'm so <laughs> happy that <laughs> what I want to know is I'd love to have it done again. The first time came out so perfectly. D is it possible that the fat could shift? All right. How many months ago did we do you? About six months. About six months ago. Well, in general, I do like to do a touch-up after six months. I know you're very active at the gym. Mm -hmm. Women who are very active invariably lose fatty tissue in the face, and they never really regain it. <coughs> yes, you have that drawn mm -hmm. look. Exactly. So, we have some of your fat in the freezer, <laughs> along with about a thousand other patients. That's true. As you know, we, we very carefully mark out the patient. We take extra tissue at the same time we do the surgery. And we put your name and your date of birth, mm -hmm. your social security number, and mm -hmm. we put it into all kinds of special plastic wrappings so we keep it separate and we mark it out. In fact, by some of my office staff, we, when we go to the freezer, we mark it out very carefully with a fail-safe system right. to make sure you get, again, when I touch your face up, with your own tissue. I would want to touch you up. I love the way your face looks. However, we do ha need a little touch-up. I've had mine done two or three times now. It's now permanent in here. So it, it works. I've done 3,000 patients with it. Yeah. You first walked in, you said to me, do I need a facelift? You're young, you're beautiful, you don't need a facelift. I don't want to cut and pull you. I right. gave you back what you lost. Any doctor that the minute you walk in his office wants to cut you, shake his hand and say, thank you, go away. You're a young face, you don't need facelifting. Facelifting is reserved for older patients who really need major redraping of the skin in here. Mm -hmm. Invariably, through liposculpture, chemical peeling, or laser abrasion, and with autologous fat transplantation and some Botox in here, I can take 20 years off your face with literally no downtime. Minimal pain, and it's cost-effective. So, Wonderful. in your case, we're going to have to go and do a little touch-up. But the last procedure we did, are you happy with that one? Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Well, genetically, I had a large bags under my eyes and I inherited it from my dad and I thought I'd have to live with it. And then Dr. Fetter said I can take care of that without even any stitches because I travel frequently so I can't have two mm. weeks downtime. Well, three days after the surgery the swelling was down, very slight discoloration. This is three, three to four weeks later and it literally subtracted 15 years from really my really hard eyes. to believe. I could vouch. <laughs> 15 yes, years, really. easily. Mm -hmm. So Very I'm happy. thrilled. Love to was see it, the was the it a very painful pain. kind of thing when, when, you, when you had it done? It wasn't painful at all. That's, that was what totally amazed me because the eye area is so delicate. That was mm -hmm. one of my concerns. Mm -hmm. No pain whatsoever and no downtime. Yeah. The next oh. day I was able to work at my com you know, on my laptop computer at home. Best. I think my anesth I anesthesiologist fell in love with you. You know that. Awesome. He was in the office. He's <laughs> he thought you were great. It anyway. was painless. It was a wonderful procedure. Yeah. I, I do, um, having had it done at this point in my life, being in my early 30s, is there a possibility that the fat could come back? Well, we do leave some fat there. Uh, you have to understand, when we, take, when we do the sculpting on the lower lids, it's called the transconjunctival approach. And we make a small little opening in the, in the conjunctival sac, and we trim out the amount of fat necessary. There is some fat that remains. Now, that fat that's there can hypertrophy, but in general, it's really a one-time deal. And those Great. fatty tissues get larger with age, they get a hypertrophy, but the body is made in a way to have that fat to protect the globe. And as all of us get older, we have to have perhaps if it really bothers you, have the blepharoplasty procedure done. But we're going to discuss that again. I'm going to show some great pictures of autologous fat transplantation. 
Stay right there. We'll be right back. We have some messages for you at home. First, there was liposuction. Now, there is liposculpture, the amazing body shaping technique invented in Paris and pioneered in America by Dr. Louis Fetter. This French sculpting technique uses a handheld syringe, not a machine, allowing for gentle and precise control. Liposculpture alone, or combined with Dr. Fetter's unique autologous fat transplantation, can achieve stunning results on almost any part of the body. Learn more about this extraordinary advance in appearance medicine. Call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter's Silk Touch laser treatments can help you turn back the clock. This space age technology is remarkably effective for wrinkles and gently treating the ravages of sun damage. With a very short healing time and minimal redness, it's a treatment especially attractive to younger patients seeking to eliminate the early signs of aging. For more information about laser treatment or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. In all four corners of the globe, the discriminating traveler agrees. Crystal Cruise's Grand Hotels Afloat will take you to six continents in award-winning style. Come, judge for yourself. Crystal Cruises, like heaven, but with a return trip. You don't have to suffer from the discomfort or the unsightly appearance of varicose and spider veins. Dr. Fetter's advanced sclerotherapy treatments can rejuvenate your hands and legs. You'll see stunning results as unattractive varicose veins virtually disappear before your eyes. This procedure is frequently covered by insurance. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter at 212-535-8700. We're back. Now, Kimberly, I'm sorry you were in the middle of a great thought and we cut you off. Let's go back and we'll discuss that again. Well, I'm so thrilled. I had my lips done with the autologous fat, and I was thrilled with them for the first three to four months. They've gone down slightly, but I'm really thrilled to know that I can have them injected again and there's no chance of the fat shifting. Right. It That's made a huge difference in my face. I mean, I felt like I was 18 years old again. Well, the nice thing about it is the fact that not only can it shift, I make a pocket for it, it's your own tissue, you can mm -hmm. reject it, and couple that with the Botox injections we did, Yes. that is, in my opinion, for a young woman like yourself, or even a middle-aged lady, it is a fantastic regimen together. Women love it. They want their lips fuller, they worry about their neck, and of course the Botox thing. But now let's go to a few of those pictures to show the audience about the autologous fat transplantation, what I call micro-lipo um, uh, augmentation, and uh, here's some befores and afters. Now here's a lady, you can see before, she had a little weakening of the lips, nasolabial depression, and in a, in a little, little blue hat means that's a pre-op. And there she is mm. about, uh, this is about uh, three to four weeks later. Significant She's difference. very happy. Beautiful. We did a very mild correction. She had her neck done also. She's had numerous light peels. Mm -hmm. She uses all the products we have for her. She's on the glycolic. She's on our special, our special Retin-A and my uh, other products. She's on the, the special pads, our new Seager cream, which is vitamin C, E, glycolic, and Retin-A. And you can see how well she looks. Here's a lady who really responded very nicely. What did she do to her neck? We did liposculpture in her neck. We, we, we redraped the lower neck. Now we go to the next case after that. Now here's a lady who is in her late 70s. Okay. Yeah. And we did, again, we did some work on her chin. I did a lower facelift on her th through the one, one port at the chin and uh, near the ears also. She's had numerous peels. And I, I'm going to show you how she looks post-op. There she is. Wow. Incredible. Wow. She's a happy lady. Yeah. She's a very wonderful friend of the office and a friend of mine and a very happy patient. She sent me, I think, five patients since I've operated on her. And uh, I'm very, I'm personally fond of her besides just uh, as a patient. She's a good friend of mine. And no scarring. <coughs> no scars. Absolutely no scars. And she didn't want to have a facelift. Now here's a lady in uh, her 40s and um, she had nasolabial depression and we did a similar procedure. We had um, uh, consultation and she said I don't want you to do a face I know I don't need a face like my mother had it and all her life she looked like a, like a pulled little bear mm. pulled tight and I told her she didn't need a facelift we did autologous fat transplantation liposculpture for neck and a chemical peel and some Botox and look at her at the post-op wow. like yes she's very happy but wow. it's a subtle change 
you know, if you just meet her, you, you just look well. People just mm -hmm. will just tell you, Kimberly, I'm sure right. you've heard the same thing, you just look well. You're, they say, gee, what, what, have you been resting a lot? Let's go to the next case okay. after this. Now, here's a lady. These are our markings we used before the procedure. As you see, I built up the malar area, the cheeks, and then the gabella area, and then around the nasolabial, and then what we call the marionette lines at the lower angle of the mouth. Now, that's our pre-markings, and there she is afterwards. Phenomenal. That's a very happy patient. The whole operation takes only one hour. It's done in an operating room. It's cost-effective. It's painless. And again, you can't reject this tissue. It's safe. I've done it in 3,000 patients, and I can't save one patient who's not been happy. Next uh, picture, please. Now, this is body sculpture. Now, I want you to see a pre. The legs are a little swollen. We did the uh, circumferential liposculpture around the knee and the saddlebag. Look at the difference. The little marks you see Very are just a little black and blue. Did you do her stomach also? Uh, the stomach was not done in this case. But the point is, this is a woman who's very active. That's the point. She runs. She does sit-ups. She didn't need her stomach. The legs, she could not lose through any method of exercise. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next case after this. This is the same patient, but the posterior view. See the saddlebag deformity? Mm -hmm. That's, uh, it's an outpouching called the corvette de cheval, which is in the French. <laughs> the Sounds better in French. That's Sounds right. better. <coughs> it does sound better in the French. Doesn't look any better. And there it is post-operatively. Look how nice that looks. Yeah. And that black and blue goes away, and it gets better at three months, and it gets better in six months. Hmm. And on top of that, the appetite goes down. So we can even discuss that later if we have time. Let's go to the next case after this. Now, here's girl's a model. She has a large frame. She said to me, doctor, I don't like the way this looks. And I, I did this, this liposculpture on her uh, in the office under local anesthesia. Uh, this was a painless procedure, and there she is. Wow. And this is a Remarkable. woman who's only 28 years of age, very beautiful, could not um, lose that, uh, that weight in that area mm -hmm. and, and sculpt her body the way she wanted through any method of exercise. I defy anyone telling me that there's a better way to lose than that. You can't lose weight in those areas. It's impossible. Or sculpt your body. Let's mm -hmm. go to the next case after that then. Now, here's a lady in her late 60s. Wow. And she had that saggy look around the knees and just a tired, tired look. There's okay. an operation where we make an, a large incision in the groin and pull up that whole tissue. It's a very expensive operation, it's painful, and normally only lasts about two years. We did liposculpture on these legs, and look at the result, yeah. same patient. She's very happy. Did you do her stomach at that time? This case was not, the stomach was not, was not, not done, no. Bet you're gonna get to that. Well, we may just show you one, I'm not sure today. Yeah. Alex, I'm glad you're anticipating these, the thing. you're good. <laughs> Maybe we'll make you a co-producer here. This is, this is very good. Now, here's a lady. This is a case I've done about, uh, about six years ago, in fact. Now, I mark this out very carefully, as you see, with a special indelible pen. And we, we, we mark out uh, where I'm going to take out more and less and what area. Like in the middle, for example, I expected 300 cc's. In that area, it's surprising. I took out about 2,000 cc's. And then I'm going to show you the, uh, the post-op here. Now, this is only five days later, so it's going to be a bit swollen. But within... Uh, two or three weeks, it'll be markedly improved. And to be very truthful with you, it's kind of tough for us to get long-term pictures because the vast majority of the patients I operate on, they look great. They come back five days after the surgery, and I don't see them again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they may come back for, <laughs> for to buy some products or to check in a couple of years later. But it's, it's, I, I keep reminding myself, take your post-op pictures. Because for a doctor, as you well know, post-op pictures are very important, just like pre-ops are. So, we're going back to, Alix had a very interesting question she wanted to ask us. Apart from the face, the hands, is there a way to rejuvenate hands easily? Yeah. You had mentioned even the fact about your mother at having it done and not having a good result. Right. You have to be very careful when you do peeling on the hands and things. I sometimes do a total arm peel, and I do a hand rejuvenation, not only with autologous fat, but other things, and then I do a very light peeling on the hands, sometimes laser for the brown spots, but little peels work well too. You have to be very careful when you peel hands because the hands have relatively few sebaceous appendages. So you have very little uh, leeway here. You have, in most people, it's skin, tendon, yeah. bone, that's it. And as women get older especially, their hands go bad. So whenever you're working in the garden or you're playing tennis, sunscreen, gloves, you're standing on a beach or something, put your hands behind you. Don't have your hands in the sun. The hands age very quickly. Driving. Yes, even the driving. 
protect your hands as much as you can. Now, if you just have, you know, a couple of little brown spots, what would you do? Would you I do laser? I think you come to see me. I'll do a nice little thing. Could you do laser? Well, could you do laser? There's a couple of small brown just spots. Just a couple. I can do light peeling on them. I can use our skin bleaching creams. Uh, other agents we can have. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many modalities, but in general, they can be easily treated. And remember, going to a doctor, make sure he uses the most conservative therapy first. Everything mm -hmm. that a doctor That's can do advice. is there can be side effects. So always opt for the most conservative things first and try the things later. But right, be right back with you all. I have another message for you. Please don't go away. We'll be right back. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. How you feel about your appearance can have a dramatic effect on your life. Your face is your window to the world. Dr. Lewis Fetter's breakthrough techniques in chemodermabrasion and chemical peels can produce dramatic improvements in your skin's complexion and help remove and greatly reduce the appearance of acne facial scarring and other skin imperfections. You can reverse the effects of aging and sun-damaged skin with these highly effective techniques pioneered by Dr. Fetter. For more information, call 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter invites you to experience the quality and effectiveness of his personally formulated skin treatment products and cosmetics. These acclaimed products have been dispensed and tested worldwide for over 15 years. The more than 100 products are free of any known allergens and contain only the finest quality ingredients. Once you've tried these products, you'll find them indispensable for maintaining a beautiful, clear complexion and general good health. For more information, call Dr. Fetter 212-535-8700. The act of giving has to be one of the very best feelings in the world. I personally put it up there with eating ice cream right out of the carton. Or being on the receiving end of an unexpected kiss. <laughs> or smelling a freshly mown lawn. Not surprisingly, the act of supporting our United Way produces the same wonderful effect. It takes our gifts and through the magic and not a little hard work of volunteers and nonprofit agencies turns those gifts into everything from food and shelter to disaster relief and daycare. And it all goes right to the people who really need it right here in the neighborhood. So this year, if you would, support our United Way. I guarantee it'll be a very good feeling, and you won't even have to cut the grass to get it. United Way, with you, reaching those who need help, touching us all. Now, there's a nearly perfect wrinkle treatment for worry lines, frown lines, crow's feet, laugh lines, and other so-called dynamic wrinkles. Dr. Fetter's Botox Clinic features this remarkable treatment that's minimally invasive, extremely safe, and can achieve the desired results with a single treatment, often producing results that even surgery can't achieve. For more information about this breakthrough advance or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter has created one of the most important cosmetic surgical breakthroughs in 50 years, the facelift bypass. This unique rejuvenating process uses your own body tissue and can take 15 to 20 years off your appearance in just one hour. The procedure is virtually painless and leaves no scarring, often producing better results than a traditional facelift. Finally, there is a cost-effective innovation that can bring incredible results to anyone seeking to improve their appearance. For more information, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. We're back. And during the break, Claudine, you and I have in the midst of a great conversation. Why don't we mm -hmm. why don't let the audience in on that? Well, is liposculpture permanent? Well, basically it is permanent. You're only given a certain number of finite fat cells. Now, the ones that are gone are gone, like an eyeball. If you have the eyeball, it's lost, it's lost. But the fat cells that remain, they can hypertrophy if you injudiciously overeat and things of that sort. But in general, once the sculpture is done, it's done. There are patients who have to have it done and touched up later on. But for the most part, that's not a problem. Once a patient's gone through this procedure and recognizes what a wonderfully safe and rewarding procedure it is, I never get a resistance to that. And then their friends come too. That's fabulous. And, you, and your appetite goes down. That's the Women especially tell me it's one of the mainstays they love about the fact that when they have lipo, they just lose a taste, especially for sweets. Okay. All right. Kimberly. Yes. You're back. What'd you, would, you, you were so enthusiastic before. Did, I, did, well, you, did you lose some of your ardor during the break? <laughs> no, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm absolutely thrilled and excited to be part of this show because I've been a patient of yours for a few years. And uh, the work that I've had done is so phenomenal 
that I've inspired so many other people to come and have the work done because of the confidence. The, I think the most important thing is having confidence in your surgeon, which I do. It's the best gift you could give yourself. It's a birthday present that lasts a lifetime. Wow, that's and great. It's wonderful. You know, it changes people's lives. Well, I'm just happy because it's the kind of thing when you hear that from a patient and they give you that kind of feedback, uh, it makes it all worthwhile. It puts it all into a ni nice perspective because it's not just doing this work. It's, that it's, it's a total overview about self-respect and it's mm -hmm. not a matter of vanity and it's mm -hmm. a matter vanity is not a negative concept. Look as well as you can for you is fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting more and more men, for example. In the past, most men would say, oh, I don't want to have that uh, procedure. It doesn't sound right. My wife wants it. Now men are coming around just as the way women are and having these procedures done. So it, it, it's really great. Uh, before I, we have, before the show closes, Elise, you had a great question to share with the audience and me. What was that? Which one? Yeah, so many. <laughs> I have another one. Another one. Another one. Um, I wanted you to just get into a little bit the Botox because I know men are doing that too, and uh, just explain it. Botox is a uh, procedure.